Well, everyone, Jim Hannon here, formerly of Moonscapes, uh, forming a new channel called Golden Stars. Um, run into a million problems. Uh, this phone is just giving me fits trying to take videos, stitch them together, and then upload them to YouTube. So, <laughs> uh, still working on that problem, and I'm not even sure I've got it solved yet. Uh, but again, um, I'm going to try making this video and see if I can upload it. Again, the, the old channel Moonscapes is now being changed to Gold and Stars. And the idea between that is because the videos now deal with gold prospecting with my son Terry of Center of the Earth Mining. And then my own astro imaging uh, projects, which I have picked up pretty heavily again and greatly involved in. So... That's going to end this here, see if I can add some more stuff to it, piece it together, and get it added up to my new site. Again, the new site is going to be gold and stars, changing from the old channel, Moonscapes. I'll be talking to you soon. Okay, first of all, gold prospecting. These vials represent the last, oh, three years of prospecting with my son. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you. We got to be a little something wrong with us, guys. You go out, and this is a whole season's worth of gold several years back. Uh, yeah, <laughs> not an awful lot of gold in there for quite a few trips to Vermont. I think I think this is several years ago. Uh, uh, this other one back here, this represents last, last year's take. Um, this is from the cut uh, my son called uh, uh, the... Uh, the source claim, and it wasn't too bad a year. I got some pretty good chunks in there, but that's not a lot of gold for all the number of trips so you take up or all the gas you spend driving from Connecticut to Vermont, and uh, you get this little bit of gold. But, boy, it sure is fun, and you know what? I get to spend time with my son Terry out in the wilderness, and you can't beat that. There's no amount of gold that's going to pay for that. So it's just nice to have this. This other vial... Uh, I haven't completely, this is just this year's take. As you can see, it's, um, I'm trying to get a little better focus. It's not a lot. Uh, I had a late start here. Terry changed his trailer over to a bigger trailer at his campsite. So I was late getting up there and didn't get up there as many times this year as I'd like. And we're already near the end of the season. So there's not an awful lot there for the effort, as I like to say. But boy, it sure is a lot of fun. Um, so um, I'm going to keep on doing videos on that. And now I'm going to switch over and we're going to do a little talking about some of my astronomy. And then we'll try to piece this all together and get it up to my new site, which will be called Golden Stars. Hello, guys. And now we'll talk just a little bit about astronomy. And I just wanted to bring this picture up on my computer. This is what I used to work from. This was the observatory that I had in my, at my house before I moved into retirement community. And boy, do I miss this baby. Building is a 12-foot square building. The dome is, which I built uh, is an 11-foot diameter dome, which rotated and has these sliding shutters that open and closed here. Back here is the uh, warm room when I started doing my CCD imaging. Um, that's where I would uh, run the wires and control to the camera and telescope into that room. It was heated, and I could work out there and winter in perfect uh, comfort. Um, it's a far cry from, let me see, there's some work that I've been doing, uh, some older images. I'm going to flip through. Um, trying to find, I think I have a picture of uh, what I'm trying to work with right now. These pictures aren't even done to give them time to uh, uh, show them in a proper format. I think there's a picture. Yeah, there it is. Uh, and I think you've seen this. This is where I'm working from now out and back in my facility. Eventually, hopefully, it's going to have a shed that will uh, pull up around it and lock up, and I can leave everything set up. Where Now I have to break down part of the scope and leave the mount out there covered. Uh, well, let me show you what I'm trying to do over here is a catalog. This is the Galaxy MGC7331 that I was 
going to try to work on the other night um, and had a little bit of trouble finding it. Now, these charts in his book, if you look at them, you can see all the stars on them and all the charts. Now, you can see this book is full of these charts. Okay. There's just one after the other after the other. This book is of the entire night sky. Each one of these square grids, this is these little squares here, if you were to hold your finger out at arm's distance, look at your little thumbnail. That's approximately the size. It's probably even bigger than each one of these squares in this book. And now when I image, my image in camera only covers about a quarter of one of those squares. So if you take a square, divide it in quarters, and take one little quarter, that'll be the size of the uh, image I'm taking. So you can see what I'm dealing with. Now this galaxy right here, and the print I made of it, is over here. It's right in this, that, it's this square. That's, that's how big that chart is. The galaxy I want is in this little mess of galaxies right in here. Um, so you have to see, uh, you know, the, the telescope's pointed ability has got to be right, right smack dag on to hit these. Because if you're off a little bit and you're off over into these non-star areas, it's very tough. Uh, sometimes you'll have to use an optical telescope, maybe locate these two bright stars here, and then bring your telescope down with a visual finder down to about this area and turn the camera on that, and then your galaxy will show up. But if you do the alignment properly, um, it'll take you right there, and that will be in your field, and that'll be your target for the night. And now I've had other videos out there showing you uh, what goes on, uh, taking the flat fields, the dark frames, hours and hours of catching that and adding it in uh, white light, which we call luminous. luminous. Um, then red filtered, green filtered, blue filtered, and then add it to get to a color image. Um, interesting hobby, uh, but it, it's pretty involved. Uh, I started many, many years ago, uh, 1956, September 8th, the planet Mars, and now it's been over 60 years. Uh, great journey and great, great double double duty. Uh, over here, the gold, my son, Terry, center of the earth mining. Um, not an awful lot of gold, but an awful lot of fun and a lot of time with my son and the astronomy over here. Um, so, let's see. Uh, see how I can paste this together and get it up on my new site. If I do, I'll be greatly happy. If not, I'm still trying to figure out ways of doing it. Again, this is now Golden Stars, my old Moonscape site, which I changed because the name just fits a lot better. And we will talk to you later, guys.